Hey guys, Lena here. Welcome to episode 28 of the Fallout Settlement Guide. And today, guys, I've just got one build to showcase to you, and then we're going to talk about the final kind of showcase of the entire sanctuary. And I'm going to be doing that relatively soon for two reasons. One, we've pretty much finished everything, haven't we? And except for the suburbs, and there are quite a few houses that are completely untouched. All of the main buildings in the sanctuary, the marketplace, anything that's not a house, is in fact already done. And as you can see here, I've already started constructing my sanctuary sign so you guys know that we are almost finished. Because I did say I would start building that just in time for my final showcase. And the second reason why I want to do the final showcase is because I have put so much crap into this settlement that it's broken. Okay, sanctuary is broken. And I can barely finish my sign. I got the word sanctuary. I, you can't see the letter Y from here. It doesn't, the render distance isn't high enough. So I've got the word sanctuary and the letter Y will be over there. So I built that and I've wired up the S, the T U A R Y, but on this ank part, all right, my game freezes randomly between kind of placing down one wire and five wires so I can try and connect up like five wires because they all need to be individually connected and whether I place down one sometimes I'll get up to five before it freezes but either way it's random and it just takes forever having to reload your entire game just to connect one wire there's there are hundreds there I need to connect up so I will hopefully get that done and um, sometimes um, I can get a couple and then so the way I'll have to do it is I'll have to just connect one wire Save it reload the entire game connect another wire save it reload the entire game. It's gonna take forever But yeah, so I can't really build anything else in the sanctuary. There's still quite a lot of empty buildings, but they'll all this just be suburbs and Just the buildings around here that aren't the school and uh, our little cult building right there so It's not too big a deal and uh, maybe when they update the game it might fix some of the uh, the crashing issues if they ever update the size of your build limit maybe or something like that I can get some more stuff in Sanctuary but to be honest I'm not too bothered because all of the uh, the interiors are kind of getting a bit boring since we're so limited by what we can actually build on the inside so just the same stuff over and over just kind of arranged differently and I'm not too bothered that we can't really build anything else so I'm just going to showcase inside here which is City Hall I think I finished it yeah and we'll talk a little bit about the final showcase just the way I'm going to make that video so we go on the inside here first of all on the outside we have a guard post because of the mayor the mayor kind of works in this building so we need a bit of security and we've got a turret as well and a little statue on the outside head on inside you go upstairs but we're going to go to the right first we've got a little reception here you know, and you can't just let anyone in, they have to sign in or whatever. And uh, through here, we've kind of got like a, a council meeting room or kind of like a war room. That's the way I was imagining it. So whenever there's a, some kind of problem, all the leaders come here and they talk. And then we've got all these kind of seating around the edges. For anyone who's not kind of like the, uh, the leader, you know, like they'll all have assistance and stuff. That's the way I thought about it. And obviously the mayor will sit in this blue chair. So that is the uh, the meeting room, or the, the war room, that's what we'll call it. If we head up the stair, through this way, we've got a little storage area. This way leads to the uh, the wall. So you've got a little escape there. Uh, if we head down here, we've got a couple of offices on the right-hand side. These are just both the same, or roughly the same, just one and two. And if we go down here, we have a little waiting area for the mayor's office, which is the only room left to showcase. We've got another storage area. See so guys, I've just got so much stuff in this uh, settlement that I'm surprised it didn't crash a long time ago. And uh, we'll go in there last. Up here just takes you to this little area, which again, just attaches onto there. I didn't really need anything up here, so. So that just leaves the mayor's office. We've got the mayor who sits here, you gave him a fancy desk and chair. And the way when I was building this, I just kind of thought of kind of like uh, the Oval Office. That's the kind of way I was planning it. I've no idea what the Oval Office looks like, to be honest, but 
from TV movies. I just kind of uh, tried to remember. So we've got a little seating area here. You want to watch what's on the news or whatever. And uh, yeah, so I was really happy with this. You get a good view from the balcony just outside his office as well. So there wasn't too much things in here. It's just all offices, so nothing too exciting. But I think this is definitely the last building that we'll be building in Sanctuary for the interiors anyway. All the outside buildings are already done. Unless you guys can think of any, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to decorate it. So I think I'll just move on to my final showcase. Since there's actually so much stuff to show you guys in the final showcase, I want to keep the video as short as possible. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll just do a quick walkthrough of the different locations, which will be the suburbs, the marketplace, the farm, and then I'll do kind of a little montage of all of the interiors. I think that'll be the best way to get everything showcased and I don't want to make the video longer than say like five minutes at most because uh, people won't really watch um, something that we're going to go around and explain every single individual building it would take for like an hour and nobody wants to watch that so we'll go with the montage. Alright guys, so that's what will be the final video. It's not the end of the settlement guide. I will be moving on to different locations. I want to start Abernathy Farm. I have some ideas for that. And I don't think the freezing will affect any other settlement. I think it's just Sanctuary that's broken. And obviously I won't be making any settlements that are as big as Sanctuary. Because I, I don't really need to. I've done kind of this. If I was to do anything, it would pretty much look the same as this. The only thing I can do different is I never really actually used, uh, let me get to prefabricated ones, I never actually used any of the metal ones. I didn't really like the way that they looked. What the? You can see how laggy this uh, settlement is now. I never really used any of these, I didn't really like them. So I kind of went with the wooden house and pretty much built my own ones. So I could use that for to make a settlement different. Alright guys, I think that's it for this video. Um, the only one thing why I keep going over here is uh, I've spent over 100 hours in Sanctuary building it. And I never once knew that there was a door here with a cellar. Which is pretty weird, considering how long I've been in this settlement. I haven't even left the settlement pretty much since I started playing the game. There's a safe here. I don't know what's in it. I haven't opened it. And some gold bars. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I hope you guys will enjoy the final showcase which will be the next Fallout video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next episode. Bye!